Hi, I noticed that pages 99 and 100 did not go through on the video when I was reading Front Desk Chapter 21. So I'm going to read pages 99 and 100 today so that it can be continued. All right, at the top of page 99, um, right after the three dots breaking the paragraphs. I sat with my nose pressed up against the window, watching the police interrogate Hank. Several times I ran outside, only to be escorted back in. See, the police know I'm right, Mr. Yao said, taking their interrogation of Hank as evidence that this theory about black people was valid. He was wrong. The only thing it proved was that the police were just like him. I counted the minutes until he and his racist thoughts would finally leave. Surprisingly, the person who remained most calm throughout the incident was Mr. Lorenz. It sounded like he had car insurance and he figured he could get the money back that way. At half past noon, the cops finally stopped interrogating Hank and got back in their cars. They didn't have enough evidence to make an arrest because he didn't do it, duh, but they said they'd be back. You'll hear from us again real soon. The commanding officer, Officer Phillips said, looking at all of us. His eyes lingered especially long on Hank before he turned away. After the cops and Mr. Yao finally left, I went over to Hank's room. Hank was sitting in his chair, slumped over like a half-filled sack. He looked absolutely exhausted. I walked over and put my hand on his shoulder. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. It's all right, he said. It's not all right. They were awful. They just assumed you did it. How could they think that? The more I thought about it, the more riled up I got. But Hank just sat there, quiet and unfazed, gazing in the general direction of the pool. The sun burned through the window. I could see little tiny particles of dust floating in his room. Why are you not more upset? I asked him. He shrugged. Guess I'm just used to it, he said. This kind of thing happens to me all the time. It does? He nodded to all black people in this country in some way or the other. He dropped his head into his hands. I sat very still thinking about what he had said. I could hear the faint honking of cars, a couple laughing in the room next to us. I wanted to scream, stop, stop honking, stop laughing. How can it be, be business as usual when this was happening to people like Hank? Hank got up and went to wash his face. When he returned, he was holding a pack of Oreos. As he set the Oreos down onto his little table, I stared at the cookies, and I thought about the world of difference there was between the two colors. And that's where we end. Hopefully this will get joined on with the YouTube video for Chapter 21, and everything will work out okay. Thank you for watching.